So you're here for probably one reason. Is the Surface Slim Pen 2 as good as the hype? What's wrong with it? Has it improved? Has it gotten worse? Are there new problems? And I'm going to answer those for you right now. Now I use this thing almost every day, if not every day, and I use it all the time. I use it for artwork and I use it for uh, interacting with the screen a lot. So let's jump into what is wrong with the stylus. Now, sometimes it will move the cursor around the screen, but it won't click anything. Like the left click function has somehow uh, been disabled. I don't know. I'm not sure why it does that. Uh, typically a restart will um, refresh it and it'll work again. It has never been a difficult thing to get working again, but it's happened probably five times. And uh, usually it's something I can fix within five or 10 minutes by restarting. Uh, it's a little bit annoying, but eh, it's okay. I've heard reports from people and I have not experienced this where it doesn't charge, where it just sits underneath the little light that's right. I don't know if I can see it or if you can see it there, but I believe there's a little light right here. That little light doesn't turn on, it doesn't charge. I have not had that problem. Uh, I had assumed that there would be increased support for haptics as time went on. It's been uh, almost eight months, seven, seven months since this was released. I don't know of any new apps that make use of the haptic engine. I think it's really cool. It still does not work consistently in OneNote. Probably 30% of the time it works correctly. And even then, if it's working maybe 50% of the time, it'll work, but will not work correctly. So it's, it's hit or miss. It's really cool. I would love for it to be implemented system-wide so it worked all the time with all the programs. You just, if pressure is being read, then you have an option of turning on haptics. That would be really cool. There has not been any new features for this. As far as I know, the line quality, which I will demonstrate shortly, uh, has not improved. It has not gotten worse. Now, one thing that I'm a little frustrated with, the tip on mine, the tip on mine is squished. I don't chew the nib and I don't do anything special with it. I don't push super hard and it's, and it's kind of jacked up a little bit. Still writes just fine, but it does kind of annoy the crap out of me. I want to take like little... I want to take like little nail clippers and clip this and file it down and and possibly you can see it there and try and get it so that it looks smooth it kind of has a little lip and that's not with heavy pressure that's with heavy use but not heavy pressure and i kind of thought this thing would actually last a long time there is not an extra nib in the case so um if I want a new one, I have to buy one. I don't know how much they are. I don't think they're super expensive, but I would guess somewhere around 20 bucks. The little Bluetooth eraser part, this is obviously, this is an eraser. Um, this was, and still is, pretty loose feeling. It doesn't feel like it's, like it feels like you could just pull on it lightly and it would pop off. It has never popped off. So I'm not concerned about that in the future. It clicks just fine. That's all right. Uh, battery life seems to be uh, good. I've never had a problem with the battery, which you would hope you don't since it charges automatically. The storage has been great the whole time. There's times where I've thought I lost it and I'm looking around frantically. I'm like, oh, where's my slim pen do? I, I don't usually say all the whole name. Anyway, so uh, there's times where I thought I lost it and then it was just attached underneath the base and you know you never feel real smart at that moment but the magnets there are really solid it stores there really nicely all right so let's take a look at how this looks like in a drawing program and real quick before we we jump into the next section i don't mind the shape it doesn't bother me i do wish it was a little longer because i use it like this I use it like this and it doesn't have the same length as like this one. This is the Renacer R530. 
if you don't have a um, if you don't have a Surface Pro 8 or a Laptop Studio, this has a much better line quality than the uh, Surface Pen. And this is awesome, it's magnetic, and better for all the other Surface devices and a lot of other devices. This size, the length, the weight, really nice. It's a traditional stylus design, very nice. This is fine. It does feel a little light. It does feel a little short. I want to complain about it. Yes, it would be nice. It sits in a different place in my hand, by the way. Like it sits higher up on this ridge as opposed to nestled down here in the nestle zone. <laughs> so still don't mind it. I don't have any problem with those things. It's just a different feeling. I hold it differently. I don't have any like rub marks from drawing with it for six hours in a row or anything like that. I don't have any problems. It feels nice. So big complaints, sometimes it doesn't click and I have to switch to a different stylus. Battery life is fine and let's look, uh, there's not been any firmware updates that have fixed anything. I did hear that the Surface Pro 7 Plus had an update to enable full compatibility with the Slim Pen 2. I don't know if anyone has one and can verify that. That would be great to see. All right, so this is some artwork I did with the Slim Pen 2 and it's great for artwork. I don't have any problem. I actually use this for artwork um, frequently and it, it works wonderful. All right, so let's do a quick little line test here. I'm using the pencil tool and here the positional smoothing is turned on. Here it is off, which is what you want to see when you're using, uh, when you're doing a test here. It's really nice, really smooth, clean lines. It is not perfect, perfect. It's really good. You can definitely do good quality art with this stylus. Now for comparison, this is R530 stylus. This is the one I recommend for everything that is not a laptop studio or Surface Pro 8. It has a small compatibility issue. So here you're going to see the line quality is really nice, but occasionally what will happen, I'm going to fake it here, it'll break. The line will break. Now I did this intentionally, but you get the idea. And so then you would just have to go back over the top and draw the line. Better quality line than the Surface Pen. Not the absolute best choice for the Laptop Studio or the Surface Pro 8. No firmware updates that I have seen that have changed the performance quality, the quality of the line, that have improved anything of note. All right, you guys, Slim Pen 2. If you use a stylus and Windows, this is a great channel for you, so please subscribe.